Life is very long. T.S. Eliot. Not the first person to say it. Certainly not the first person to think it. But he's given credit for it because he bothered to write it down. So if you say it, you have to say his name after it. Life is very long. T.S. Eliot. Absolutely goddamn right. Give the devil his due. Not many poets could have made it through Eliot's trial and come out brilliantine, double-breasted, and Anglican. Not hard to imagine. Faced with Eliot's first wife, lovely Viv, how Crane or Berryman might have reacted. Just foot race to the nearest bridge, Olympian suicidal. Not Eliot. After sufficient years of ecclesiastical guilt, plopper in the nearest asylum and get on with it. God almighty, you have to admire the purity of the survivalist instinct. Violet, my wife. She takes pills, sometimes a good many. They affect, among other things, her equilibrium. Fortunately, they eliminate her need for equilibrium. My wife takes pills and I drink. That's the bargain we've struck. The reasons why we partake are any more inconsequential. The facts are, my wife takes pills and I drink. That's the bargain we've struck. Just one paragraph of our marriage contract cruel covenant. These facts have, over the years, made burdensome the maintenance of traditional American routine. Rather than once more vow abstinence with my fingers crossed in the queasy hope of righting our ship, I have chosen to turn my life over to a higher power and join the ranks of the hiring class. It's not a decision with which I'm entirely comfortable. I know how to launder my own dirty undies, but I'm finding it's getting in the way of my drinking. 